Hey guys, it's Levero one here, and today we are going to talk about solar radiation. Now there are two types of uh, radiation that come from the sun. There's electromagnetic radiation, or light. Part of it is visible, part of it is not visible. It's mostly in the between uh, infrared and UV, so that's most of what you can see. And then there's another type, which is particle radiation. Now, a ton of crazy stuff happens in the sun. It is so hot that electrons can get ripped off the star. So, if I can find the surface temperature, the surface temperature is 5,000 degrees, but it's hotter than that in the center. It's over 15 million which is the necessary temperature for something to achieve nuclear fusion which is how the star produces so much energy now here on earth there are several things that we have to worry about with solar radiation okay so the particles are dangerous for us they can hurt us I mean uh, UV and stuff can give you a bad sunburn, but isn't the most life-threatening part of it. But particles can actually damage your DNA. Luckily, we have a natural defense against this, is the magnetic field. Now this, honestly, this isn't the most accurate representation of it, but what it does is it streams the particles around it, and it also focuses some towards the poles. Now when that stuff hits the atmosphere, you see the aurora borealis. Which I think is pretty awesome, but at least it isn't killing you. But, when you get into space, and outside the magnetic field and such, you are vulner a lot more vulnerable to getting hit by these particles. And, and as I said, your DNA can get damaged by that. So that's one of the another worry about space travel and going to Mars. Honestly, it's not too much. I heard a, a figure of about a 1% increase in your chance of cancer or something, but that is significant. Um, you know, a funny idea I heard was to send people who smoked to Mars and then s made them quit smoking. So smoking increases your chance of getting cancer by something like 20%. So you remove that 20%, but you go up 1%, that's minus 19%, which is a better chance than they had before. So, I guess the only people who will go to deep space are people who smoked, which I find pretty funny, but... Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief talk about solar radiation. Um, and, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Lever to one, signing out.